What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Dolph, like Kate Kalashiki 24-7. We are here giving you guys the very first episode, very first one of the year of CFM tips from your boy. So, look, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in CFM, a lot of stuff that could put you over the edge of some things that you just didn't know that I possibly could teach you to help you get a better edge in the game. And you possibly already know it because you possibly found out yourself. But for the people that don't know about CFM, little things that you could do in the game that technically could make your team a lot better, this is the video and series that's definitely gonna help you guys out. So you guys like this series and you wanna get better at CFM or connected franchise mode, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like, comment down below some other stuff you guys like to see and subscribe if you guys are new and let's go ahead and hop right into the very first subject of the video. Now, the very first thing that we are gonna show you guys is there such things inside of CFM that's called devs. Now, do you come inside of some leagues where they'd be like, no, we're not giving out any devs, whatever players you have on your team is what you got. That can be beneficial to you if you have teams like the Ravens, you got teams like the Cowboys, you got teams like the Buccaneers, those abilities is already gonna be there for you. But if you got teams like the Cardinals, the Texans, the Rams, you don't, you don't have a lot, the Bears, you do not have a lot of abilities to help you guys out. But you do have some leagues that if you do get certain teams, the more devs that you actually get for your team. So there is X Factor, Superstars. They even give out stars. And they actually give out other stuff, names, dev ups. Which means if a player, let's just go ahead and show this team real quick. Because this is a league that's going to be starting up very, very soon. Uh, if you have somebody here on a Cowboys, let's just go to a random formation. Look, let's say here, Luke Shroomaker, uh, you guys can see that he's hitting. Most likely he's going to be a star. Um, I'm going to go to another person. Let's go to Jake Ferguson. You go to Jake Ferguson, you guys see he's a normal. If you use a dev up on Jake Ferguson, the dev will go from normal to star. If you go from star, you go to superstar, superstar to X factor. That's what a dev up is. Now, if you have somebody that you want to use an age reset on, an age reset means whoever literally you put it on, their age goes down to 20 years old. So let's look here at the Cowboys roster and see the oldest player. Let's just say that you want to use it on Stephon Gilmore, which a lot of people would use it on. That means not only will his overall go, I mean, not his overall, his age will go from 32 to 20, but also if you guys see this H, I mean, this XP bar, he has 22K XP. If you bring it down, that means the requirements for you to upgrade your overall also goes down. So you guys can see here, 22 year, uh, 22 XP on him at 40K. You guys see he's at 32 years old. If you go to somebody in the cornerback position at a younger age, let's go ahead and go with, let's just go with Kelvin Joseph, right? You guys can see that he has at least close to 6K XP just to go to the next overall. But that definitely goes down if he has that superstar. So possibly he'll go to 3.4K XP to go ahead and upgrade to the next overall, if that makes sense. So all that 25K XP divided by, let's just say here for five, he's guaranteed to at least get four, maybe five upgrades in his overall. So with that in mind, how do you sit here and use the age reductions to your advantage? Well, here in this video, I'm going to give you guys the best players to use those age reductions on if you are on offense. And then in the next episode, in episode two, we're going to go ahead and show you guys the best XP guys on defense to use for those certain positions. So right here. Here is all the quarterbacks that you can use. Here is some quarterbacks that you guys can definitely use to actually give yourself a huge boost as certain people with overalls. And one person that we're going to go to is actually Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is 39 years old, but he also has close to 60K XP on him. So already he's an 87 overall with Superstar. All you got to do is use an age reduction on him to go from 39 to 20. And now he probably gets probably five or six K XP to go upgrade to another overall. So if we go ahead and do the math, 59, uh, what you call it? 59 K XP divided by five. 
That means 11 upgrades. So he goes instantly to a 98 overall. Now, that's what you need to look for when you have somebody on your team for an age reduction. Now, if you have somebody that's older that you want to go ahead and build up at a lower overall, you can go ahead and do that as well. But it's way more profitable if you have somebody just like this. Now, if they go ahead and advance past this stage, which is preseason week one, that means that the computer basically went through uh, practice and went through a full game. So that means they'll give him more XP, which means that that bar will be completely wiped out, go back to the start, and they'll give him one upgrade to get to an 88 overall. Now, if some leagues do that, which I know a lot of leagues do that, if you sit here and you get the devs done during a preseason, then you're set. Afterwards, the player is literally not usable anymore. Now, you might get lucky and find some people that has this bar like this. And let's just say he has like 55K XP day advance and he goes to 57K. Then he's still usable on your team and still can be able to use an age reduction on him. Now, another quarterback that you can go ahead and use. Let's go down. And right here at Minnesota, you can use Kirk Cousins. He's at an 84 overall, 35 years old. He has 22K XP. You put his... uh x factor and age reduction combo on him not only would he get more upgrades he gets to that 85 overall that he needs to get i believe it's three abilities that you need at quarterback which is very very helpful in the league now then another quarterback that you can go ahead and use is right here uh matthew stafford he's 35 years old 75 overall and he has 25k xp already bring that down with an X factor and he becomes one of the hardest throwing with 92 throw power, really great throwing stats already. He already becomes a beast. And with that X factor, he brings him up. He actually could be somebody you can use on your team. And if you are the Rams, that's one person you can definitely use to help rebuild that team. Or you can go ahead and train them somebody else to have them to use it. And you can go ahead and um, rebuild in the draft with that uh, Rams team. But if you guys want to know how to rebuild certain teams, how to rebuild a team that's already at a good position. That's one of the videos here in the next series. So let me know in the comments down below what team you guys want me to go ahead and use. And we will definitely bring that out to you. But let's also go to free agency where a lot of players is definitely going to be used as a age reduction. See, like Robbie Gold, if he actually had real good XP, you could definitely use him. So here, 41K XP, he's 40 years old, the highest that you probably get when you like edit the age in CFM, this is the highest you can go from 40 all the way down to 20, 20 years gone. This man can instantly go up to, uh, let's just say a 95, 96 overall. And he already has 92 kick power, 87 kick accuracy. He becomes the new Justin Tucker. So that's a freebie. We didn't even get to the kickers part yet, but I'm pretty sure this is the only kicker. Um, if we go over here to the quarterbacks, uh, Matt Ryan, literally the number one guy. He has a whopping 31K XP. You bring that down. He becomes somebody that you can use instantly, build him up, have a great career with him. He has already really great throwing stats. He's not the fastest. You got to stay in the pocket with him, but you build him up and you can make something happen with him. Now, I know the meta in the game is faster quarterbacks to get outside the pocket and make a throw, but with the quick passes, you can... You, can, you don't have to worry about inaccurates and stuff like that so much more than you would with somebody that actually has speed. Matt Ryan can definitely do the trick for you. The next person that you would like to use here on the running back side is Latavius Murray. The man is 32 years old, and he has 32K XP. He definitely will get into that range that will get him to that 85 overall that you need to have those three abilities with, and he will instantly do work for you. Now, he does have 87 speed, which is kind of at that little threshold where I want it to be to like kind of help out with like some of the things in the game. Like you can definitely build up his, let me see, the power back that definitely helps out with his break tackle, that helps out with his trucking, that helps out with the ball carrying vision, uh, that helps out with his strength. So this definitely makes him an all around running back that you can use for a very long time. Next running back that you guys can go ahead and use is we going all the way down here to Atlanta. And this man right here, Cordero Patterson. Now, if you are using the Falcons, this is going to be a little something that I will be saying in the Falcons video as well. 
that you have BJ and Robinson that's already a superstar, you can go and put an age reduction and a superstar on Cordero Patterson and either put him to wide receiver in some leagues if they allow you to do that, or you can trade him somebody else who needs a running back and they already have somebody great in Cordero Patterson. His XP bar is at 31K XP. Here again, you can use the description as you can use the dev up in this situation. Bring him up to like a 90 something overall. Already has decent speed, great juke, which is very, very good in the game. You add that ability to him, he gets jukebox and he becomes one of the best receiving backs in the game. Look, 81 catching. He's literally like that. Now, this one has kind of come as a shock to you guys, but somebody who's actually very, very good dual threat can do it all. Raheem Moister, 95 speed. You already have Devin O'Shane, but this man has 23K XP, can build him up to that 85 overall and get you those abilities as well. 95 speed, 83 break tackle, which is very, very good for a back like him. 85 change direction, 87 carry, and 86 juke, 81 stiff arm. It's already a really great running back. Then you put the age reduction on him, he gets even better. So those are three great running backs and possibly the only running backs that you can use with the age reduction unless you have somebody that has like 10, 11, 12 XP that you kind of want to put it on. I don't like feel like it's going to be fine to go and use it on but like look here jeff wilson has 13k xp put him down to 20 years old put an x factor on him you can go ahead and do something with him as well great break tackle great speed all around back as well those are the kind of guys that you kind of want to look for now we're going to go over to the wide receivers next up we are going to go over here to the wide receivers and we're going to look at this man first because he popped up jarvis landry 30 years old, 31K XP right here on the same uh, level as Aaron Rodgers where you got to use them before they go ahead and send, before you even do practice. Do not do practice. Do not do anything game-wise. Don't even play your preseason game. Make sure you go ahead and get your devs in first before you do anything. After your devs is done, then sim. No, no, not sim. Then go ahead and actually, yeah, go ahead and sim your practice. Go ahead and get the upgrades and sit here and get your um you know your little overall up but jarvis landry 86 speed he is on a slower side but you put that man as your number two wide receiver and he definitely got the route running and all that to actually make him an even better player so what you're gonna have to do is upgrade your playmaker upgrade your playmaker and upgrade that overall all the way up to its highest overall. Now, you will lose out on overall points if you're going to do a physical, if you're going to do a deep threat, because it's not his main archetype. If it's all jumbled together like it is right here, you could get away with doing slot all the way up. You might miss one overall, but you don't want to miss out so many overalls where you miss out on abilities. You got to play a game, hope that you get enough XP, then get it within the next game. You want to get it all, make sure you just go ahead and upgrade his playmaker. Then when you do it again later on, then you get the ability, if you know what I mean. So... Jarvis Landry is definitely one hand free agents. The next one here, you would think would be Julio. Julio could be an option. He has 14K XP. It's not as much as that you will want him to have. So you can go ahead and upgrade him a lot that you would prefer him to be. But it's actually T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton is very, very good. 32K XP. I know he's 5'10", but he has 90 speed, 85 jump, 85 catch, and 81 catch in traffic. And they still have a bug where his literal cap does not stay on his head. Just revealing his boss ball every single time. It's just wild. But 90 ball carrying vision, great juke, kick returning, all that. Literally can sit here and do something with him, upgrade his playmaker all the way up, and you have another baller. And that's all the players that you can definitely get in free agency that can definitely do some work for you. And now we're going to go ahead and show you guys the wide receivers that's on actual teams that can definitely build your team up. Now let's let's go ahead and knock out two for one, and let's go ahead over here to the Raiders. There's actually two wide receivers over here that you can go ahead and put it on. No, it is not Devontae Adams. First off, I would not suggest putting an age reduction on somebody who's already 99 overall. I wouldn't personally, because if you want to win now, you can go ahead and use that on somebody else, build them up either keep them or trade them off for somebody different. And if somebody wants to win now, they will go ahead and trade for Devontae Adams. It's Devontae Adams. He's one of the best wide receivers in the league for a reason. 
they're going to go ahead and do that. Or you can actually trade it to somebody else who is going to use that age reduction on them and go ahead and do it that way. But me personally, I'm not putting the age reduction on somebody that already has a high overall. Probably 84 would be my cutoff. Um, but it's actually going to go down here to the Andre Carter. He's 5'8", 89 speed. But if you look at his over, uh, his thing, he actually has 18K XP you can do something with. Build him up and get his XP up. 87 jumping is really good. 91 change of direction. 87 catching. He's going to be real good for you. And now the next wide receiver that you can use here is not Philip Dorsett, but it's actually Keenan Cole Sr. He gets 21K XP at 73 overall. Definitely goes up with the extra abilities and dev up. He's 6'1", 89 speed with great jumping, decent catching, great spectacular catch. Can actually get shifty if he really wants to. And it's definitely going to help him build up his route running with the playmaker ability. He's definitely somebody you can use as well. Next up, we're going to go down here to the Panthers. Panthers wide receiver that you can definitely use. You will think it's Adam Thielen. Nah, I'm playing. This actually is Adam Thielen. He's at an 83 overall, has 20K XP, and you can go ahead and upgrade him to even be better than he is now. 6'2", 89 speed, 94 jump. Look at his stats. His stats is all really great. Like, what do you need to do extra with him? Literally build up what he already is now. Like, he's great. He's a really great wide receiver, but not a lot of people are going to look at him because of his age. Now with his age reduction, he's going to be even better. Uh, next up, we're going to go to the Broncos. And it's actually Tim Patrick. Tim Patrick, 6'4", 89 speed. He actually has 16K XP on him. You bring that down, put, put a little few overalls on him. I believe he gets him real close to an 85 overall. So you can go ahead and have that extra ability on him. 89 jumping and speed and catching. Great spectacular catch. Great route running. He's already a dog, so why not go ahead and boost him even more for him to be your number one wide receiver? Next, we're going to go over to the 49ers. And a 49ers wide receiver that you will want to actually put an age reduction on is this man, Willie Sneed. I know, he's 86 speed, but he has 19K, close to 20K XP that you can add on to him. And you can do what you would like with him. It's, person, it's personal preference, but you can honestly build somebody up and do some extra stuff. And with a certain, sh like, it's a, it's a little secret. I'll tell you guys a little bit later. Definitely will help you guys out and help you make some of these lower overall slower players and actually build them up to be better. There's actually one more thing we're going to do, but we're going to keep that to the end of the video. Next up, we're going to go to the Browns. And I'm sure that each person even on the team with Amari Cooper, DPJ, and Elijah Moore. This man, Marquise Goodwin. This man actually has 29K XP on him. You guys already know. He has the speed, so he's automatically going to be somebody that a lot of people want to use and he has the xp to go ahead and build up even more he's going to be one of the best slot uh um what you call it slot wide receivers in the game for you so that's definitely somebody you got to watch out for as well probably the fastest that's on this list and last but not least we go over to the jets that man randall cobb is still very decent he has 28k xp built build him up uh he technically can play in a slot could play that number two wouldn't put him at number one unless you really want to, and that's one of your favorite wide receivers. 87 catching, 87 agility, 88 speed, 86 juke, 86 ball carrying vision. You can actually run the ball with Cobb. I'm not going to cap. Jet sweep. You can do some things with him. But, yeah, that's definitely another wide receiver that you can use. And now the number one reason why we are here doing this video in the first place is because we're doing a desk for tight ends. Now, we're going to start over here with the Jets because we're already here on the Jets. CJ Uzama, you go ahead and put the age reduction on him. He has 27K XP. Build him up close to that 85. All right. Now, I'm going to save the best player for last. All right. So we're going to go over here now to the Saints. The Saints tight end that you can actually use is that man that literally just signed with the team again. Jimmy Graham actually has 25K XP on him. Bald head. Crazy bald head. But 6'7". A not even 80 speed, the 79 speed. But you see, all these stats doesn't even really look good on. But that 25k XP, you can use them. Tall guy, throw that ball up to him, get that extra yards that you need to. Jimmy Graham is still going to be on your team for a little bit. 
Uh, next up, we're going to go over here to the Commanders. The Commanders got a tight end that's kind of interesting. And it's that man, Logan Thomas. 6'6", 81 speed already up there. But that 28K XP can go ahead and build that man up even better. 84 catch and 81 speed, 83 spec catch, 85 acceleration. Very decent blocking stats. Even 76 trucking. And he can get shifty with the spin and juke a little bit as well. Somebody who could put on the team as well. Uh, next up, we got the Browns. We're going back to the Browns. Their tight end that you can use is actually Jordan Atkins, 6'4", 83 speed. So one of the faster tight ends that's on this board, 20K XP. All you have to do is basically build up the route running and help him out with the blocking and all that, and he becomes another threat. Uh, next up, we're going over to the Rams. The Rams actually got some older players, so it definitely helps you out when you want to use the age reduction. And it's actually this man, Tyler Higby. Tyler Higby already has 23K XP, already at 80 overall, great catching, decent route running, really great short mid, and doesn't really have that great deep. Doesn't have that great run blocking either, but you can actually build that up with the upgrades that you get here and build him into that guy. 85 catching traffic as well, so you throw that ball up to him at 6'6", he's definitely going to come down with it. And you put him into that X Factor, his actual overall might go up to that 85 to help you guys out a lot more. Next up, we're going over to the Panthers. Once again, Panthers getting a lot of love as well. Hayden Hurst, 80 overall. Once again, 31K XP. Definitely will get you over that 85 overall that you would need. Most likely will get you close to 90. This man, Hayden Hurst, can definitely be somebody that can turn a franchise around. 86 speed, 94 catching. He's already a dog. But then to upgrade the route running, wee, that boy's going to be interesting. Now... We're going over to the Chargers. I know the Chargers probably don't even have that many uh, older guys, younger guys that go and do something. But this man, Gerald Everett, at 29 years old, has 19K XP, star 6'3", and he has really decent speed, 84 speed, 86 second catching traffic, 84. Okay, 86 catching, 84 catching traffic, 87 acceleration, 88 awareness. Not great blocking stats, but he actually can get shifty as well. So Jared Everett is another great candidate to actually put your age reduction on and put your other devs on. Then we're going over to the Bears. Uh, this is where we really just make it happen. It's actually Robert Tunyon. Robert Tunyon is another player, 21K XP, 6'5", can definitely do work. And we're going to go show you guys the stats real quick. One, four, 85 speed, 96 catching. This man is not going to drop the ball for you. You guys know how good he is on the Packers. Now he goes over to the Bears. Use that age reduction on him. He goes does work. But now, the last guy. You guys seen him in thumbnail. You guys seen him everywhere. This man, Mercedes Lewis, is the best tight end in the game. If you're in a dev, I mean, if you're in a league where you can put devs in. Why? I'm going to show you why. I understand. It says 71 speed. But look at this man here. Ladies and gentlemen, that man has 77K XP on him. Hey, look, just not going to lie to you. He's a blocking tight end, but he gets the job done. Let's look at the stats. Look at the stats. 71 speed, I understand. 82 catching, 80 spec, 84 awareness. A lot of people are going to look at him and be like, I don't know what I'm just going to sit here and do with this man. But let's go ahead and show you guys the stats here. It literally will go... I literally have him in another league. I, I just literally seen him, seen the XP that I had on him, boom, instantly was on the team. I got him strictly from a 77 overall, 79 overall, from oh, from this to this. Look at the huge difference. Man has crazy blocking, kind of better catching, better impact blocking, uh, better short routes. He has he's like literally one of the like an offensive lineman. He literally goes up to a 99 overall. Yes, he gets literally 79. So he gets like, I'm trying to do the math here. I think he gets 17 upgrades. I think it's 17 upgrades. He literally goes to a 97, goes to 98 overall because I got to upgrade with him. And he literally becomes one of the best tight ends in the game. Look at him, 98 blocking. Literally goes up to that 99, and look at the abilities that I can get on him. Just think about it. I get secure protector, 
Route Apprentice, Mid and Elite, and Matchup Nightmare with Vanguard. But now you can step out the matchup nightmare and you can use mid out of lead to go ahead and have mid in and mid out route apprentice and secure protector, which is a very, very great uh, addition to somebody like him. Or you can go ahead and go tank. You can go ahead and go short out of lead, which I, I mean, you could, if you want to go and change that to short out, you can do that as well. But Mercedes Lewis instantly becomes one of the best tight ends in the game. And if you guys do not believe me where this man 71 speed just does not matter, I actually have clips. You guys can literally see here, I'm sitting here playing with Mercedes Lewis here on the field. And you guys can just literally look, I get it. He sits here and does a nice catch just like that. Literally on the short routes, he can literally do whatever you want him to do. As he sit here and hits that little, you know what I'm saying? He hits that, oh, hey, 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 you know what I'm saying? That man sitting here and hitting that, yeah, baby, you feel me? Uh, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of things that he can actually do on his team. I actually went back and recorded all the things he can do. You guys know this is my money play in the red zone. Go ahead and look at how he runs the route. 71 speed, that doesn't even matter. He goes up there, catches that. He comes down with it with that mid out elite. Now go ahead and check that one more time. You go ahead, look, see him go ahead and cut right there. And you guys can see as we go ahead and give him the ball. He actually lights up right there for that mid out elite to actually go in and with that short end, I believe. So it's a nice little combination there. He goes dumb for you and he helps you out. And that's the reason why this man, Mercedes Lewis, is literally on the top of my team. Like literally it's just leading the pack, does his thing and you get him for cheap. Only thing you're really going to need to worry about with him after you get him at free agency is that you're going to need to go ahead and resign him. So we go over here to the Resign Players tab. I was going to show you guys how much he is really asking for. And so he's asking for four years, 15 mil, so basically 57.2 total. So really, not really that bad if you look at it. Yeah, it's not really that bad when you look at it. He's definitely going to be on the team for a while. He's basically a free guy that you can literally get up to an iron overall with if you snag him. Because somebody else can look at this video, be in the same league as you, and snag him. Literally be a free 99 overall in CFM. But now there's the one more thing that you can do to boost up your team. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys here in the Adjust Lineup tab. The Adjust Lineup tab is literally going to show you the whole team as a whole. Literally with the devs and where they sit at. So you see Malik Willis with the Superstar. My, my guy, Osavius, I believe that's his name, is a superstar. Mercedes is X-Factor. Elijah Moore underneath of me is an X-Factor. Um, one thing that definitely builds up this team is a little thing up there on that very top, that F, which means franchise points. What does franchise points do? They sit here and help you gain more XP during practice. They help you uh, hit all the team of uh, scheme fits so that can get a bonus for how much XP that the whole team gets as a whole and also helps you out with a lot of benefits when it comes to um, re-signing players, drafting players, free agency, things of that nature. So if we go here to the talent tree, uh, you go way up here to the start player personnel, talent calls 20% less. You go down here, you do hands on offense and hands on defense first. So let me go ahead and show you guys that real quick. You do the hands-on defense and the hands-on offense first. That means everything else that you guys do over here will all be down to 12. Not 20, it will be down to 12. The ones up here at the start sometimes will be 16, but the rest of these will be 12. It literally will help you out with gaining everything else faster. Because if you don't even do these first, literally everything else you do over here will be 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. And that's not going to be enough upgrades for you. Now, what I've learned with some of these things here in the talent tree that wasn't here last year. Uh, if you go over here to offensive coordinator. Actually, first, let me show you. Uh, personnel, player personnel. These are ones that you do not do. These here, you don't do. Now, except for the offense recruitment and defensive recruitment. Likelihood of signing players to free agency, yes, you can go ahead and do these. Go ahead and do these trees as well. You can even unlock one person that is not interested in negotiations and get them back. Um, 
here. Likelihood of signing quarterbacks, wide receivers, tight ends, all that. Scheme fits has increased interest in signing through free agency, which means if they have the scheme fit for you, oh, yeah, they want to join your team because they run the same thing that they are actually accustomed with. So these are all fine. These, when it comes to trades, CPU trades, increase for user draft picks, guaranteed trade package for current user pick during the draft, non-X factors will be valued one def higher than actual trades. These are actually ones that are going to be used if you're doing simulation. So you do not need to go ahead and, what you call it, use any of these when you're playing a user or playing in 32 user leagues. These are more for the Sims. This is for the computers and things like that. More over here, offense recruitment, other than that, you can go ahead and do any of these. This will definitely help you out with free agency time. Over here on the defensive side, full blitz, zone secondary, and defensive line guru. These aren't the same with every single quarterback in the game. Certain quarterbacks that you sit here and, I mean, not quarterbacks, coaches and offensive and defensive coordinators in the game, they all go by certain zone, like, like certain schemes. Like this is full blitz. That helps the linebackers take these cornerbacks. This one is like zone secondary, so to help out the DBs. And this one's defensive line guru, so it helps out everything from defensive ends and tackles. So if you guys can see here, it boosts finesse or power moves, so to help you guys out with that. Finesse moves more on the outside with the ends. Power moves is more like bull rushing with the uh, D tackles and things of that nature. Stamina for all of them goes up by three. Strength for D ends or even speed. This is the big thing I want to show y'all. You can go up plus three speed in certain positions with certain coordinators. Now, this one right here, you can get speed from the ends and tackles and go up plus three. So if you have somebody like a Barno that you have at the edge of 92 speed, you can bring them up to 95 speed on the edge just with this alone. Now, you go over here to this other side, you got acceleration, play rec, jumping, and zone coverage. That'll be for the free safeties, strong safeties. Or you can go over here and do it for cornerbacks, jumping, zone, play rec, acceleration. You go down here, boost catching, boost catching by three. Now, you can only choose one of these. So you, you do the cornerbacks and free safeties, helps them build up their XP even more. And this is the awareness that goes up by three by both sides as well. Over here, ready for the linebackers and all that, this one doesn't build up speed. Oh, actually, it does. This one right here, if you go over here on here, this side, this one gives you speed to cornerbacks by three. Now, later on, I'm going to have to go ahead and redo this full blitz one so I can go ahead and get the cornerback speeds up. So if I have somebody at 97, well, not 97, 94 speed, you can get them to 97 speed just from having this on your team. Now, here on offense, uh, here with the wide receivers and stuff like that, this one doesn't really give you speed at all. Secure the line. This one just gives you the strength and finesse and power. Over here, the quarterback guru, you can get plus three speed for your quarterback. And think about it. I have Malik Willis. You want to see where that man's speed's at right now? This man is boosted up plus two. Plus two speed on my team definitely helps out because you thought I was going to just have Malik Willis. Now I have an even faster quarterback. So that means people is even more valuable on your team because you know that you have extra speed on your team. Malik Willis is now at 92 speed. Even Davis Mills from 78 goes to 80 speed. And then people are going to look at him and be like, oh, he has 80 speed. Let me get him on the team. And then when you realize... He doesn't have that speed on your team. It's because it was only for his team. Crazy enough. Now, last thing before we go, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys another league where I have the little tree and show you that it's not the same with everyone. Over here in my other league where we have the Desperados, we're going over here to the offensive coordinator. We literally have nothing over here for wide receivers and halfbacks. Really just stamina, awareness, short route, release, and catching traffic, which is cool. Secure the line. Basically the same thing. Over here, quarterback guru. We go down here. Once again, we get speed for the quarterback. Here on defense, you guys see it's completely different. Inside 3-4, second level in defensive back guru. We go over here. We see play recognition for DNs or for block shedding with the defensive tackles. Speed for middle linebackers. Imagine if you have Owen Popoy, who has 93 speed on your team. 
you build this up to nine do you build this up to tier three and give him plus three speed that's 96 speed at linebacker so basically if you want to do this as a mutt equivalent that means this is a strategy item that you get here in franchise mode which is crazy enough and then as soon as you finish that you know over here you're probably not going to get anything this is all going to be for your outside linebacker so basically it's going to help them with the power moves to pursue play rack and zone over here is man covers for linebacker strength speed and block shit so you got to choose one you can't go to the other one over here you got the linebackers you got the head power catching man coverage all that then at the bottom you get plus three speed for your linebackers safeties and cornerbacks good lord good lord you guys gotta think about it this is glitchy so boost speed three times for your linebackers they're already here and then if you go over here and you boost up the speed for middle linebackers again that's plus six speed plus six speed on your linebackers just from doing this alone it's the best this is the best now imagine if this was db's plus six speed to somebody that's 89 speed that's 94 speed it's literally going to break the game it really is oh, franchise is back baby and then if you come down here oh i thought it would be over here on this side too i thought you was giving speed all around i thought you was giving speed all around but yeah this definitely helps you out this helps you out 100 percent this is literally you can go any side of this to help out the free safety strong safeties this actually helps out with both. So either hit power and catching, block shed or tackling, strength or man coverage, block shed. So it's basically whatever you want. But at the end, you get speed. I told you I was going to save you all the best for last. This is what you guys need to do. You guys need to set up your best way of getting these franchise points the fastest. Now I'm going to show you guys what I do for my scheme. Could be a lot different for yours, but make sure you guys set this up before every single game. Right here, I'm in another league where we are about to go ahead and start playing another game. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I mean by the franchise points. Cam Smith, Wyatt, Emerson, that's perfectly fine. But you guys go over here to your weekly plans. I mean, to your weekly team goal selection. You can go ahead and stack the QB five times, get yourself six franchise points. But even if you don't get there, if you get three, I mean, you can stack them like three times. You can go ahead and get three franchise points there. You want something that's guaranteed, you do these two passing touchdowns right here, get four, you can easily do that. Or if you know you're going to pass the ball all that much, you can get five here. Or you can do the hardest one of them all and get five rushing touchdowns. It's going to be very, very hard to do. What you could do with this, though, is technically go ahead and run the ball. I mean, like pass the ball, going down to the one-yard line, stop at the one-yard line, and then running it for that extra yard. But if people start catching on to doing this, then you probably is not going to get that 10. But we're going to actually try this out in my next game. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and do this, see if I can get that extra 10 and exploit the system. Here, the defensive-wise, the most that you can get here is allowed 10 points or less. Now, what I do safety-wise, because if they even score 11 points, I don't get any franchise points at all. I always set this to at least 20 or 24. Now, if I can go ahead and blow somebody out, I have 17. This is easily, as soon as they go and score two touchdowns, that's boom. As soon as they score three touchdowns, boom, that's gone. As soon as they four, score four touchdowns, boom, that's done. So I always go at least 20. I feel like I can always hold my players to like, tw my opponents to 20. Here, I always go 350. At least 350. I know I'm going to throw for at least that, maybe 400 even more. But that's throwing and running. So sometimes I might need to even put this up here because I know I'm balanced now. So I'm passing the ball and running the ball. So I go and do that. Here, the hardest ones to do is 450 offensive yards, but basically it's the same thing as the 400. So I can go ahead and do it, knock two birds out with one stone, get five and 40, basically his nine. Or I can go ahead to five offensive touchdowns, which is passing or receiving. So it's the same thing. So I always go with either the 450 or the 500, I mean, five offensive touchdowns. This is what you guys need to do, depending on what your game plan is, to go ahead and put that on there. Go ahead and start your training and go ahead and mark out like that. Now, you can go ahead and keep replaying the mini games and do all that you want and get gold. But if it is on all mat and you probably wouldn't even want to waste your time, go ahead and hit the drills up. Go ahead and do this. This is what you're going to get. That's what you're going to get for now. But you do that in game. I think it's triangle to build the goals. 
you guys can see the goals on the right side, but it brings it up with this here. Basically shows you the drawing board for what you got to do for the weekly goals. And you basically, you just got to hit this. Just keep hitting all these goals and get as many franchise points as you can and sit here and win that game and go ahead and get that extra speed that you need for your team. But that's it that I got for this week. Next week, I'll go ahead and give you guys some more tips, like probably the best players to get, best plays to use, other things like that. If you guys want to see certain stuff, make sure you guys go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Make sure you guys stay in tune with the channel. We're going to give you guys some more of this. Gameplay of CFM is coming real soon. And as always, folks, peace out.